So here we are on a winter day at about 6,800 feet above el of elevation inside the greenhouse that I built. <clears throat> Give you a quick rundown of how it all works. The floor has black piping running about two feet deep into gravel. It has this main pipe which draws the hot air from the peak down into the floor, circulates it through the grow beds and the floor and then up through this four inch pipe with a filter. This allows a thermal mass of heat to be stored underground to maintain a constant temperature when it gets colder at night. For heating, we also have a rocket stove, which I've just recently put in. And a rocket stove You can see, draws the hot air into this bell, and then there are pipes that run throughout this platform underneath this future grow bed. And the water is heated. This water will then be circulated down into the fish tanks that sit below this grow bed. And ultimately what happens is that the water from the fish tanks is run into this grow bed where good bacteria convert the ammonia from the fish waste into night trites and then nitrates and the plants absorb those nitrates and then add oxygen to the water for the fish. I have a combination of dirt and aquaponics systems here in the greenhouse. These grow beds are actually about 12 inches below the floor surface and they're filled with um, gravel at the bottom and then followed by layers of cardboard, compost, um, and different soil amendments. You can see here the three tanks which house the fish. Each tank is about 300 gallons. So I have about 900 gallons worth of fish space. Inside of each tank, I have three different varieties of fish. In the first tank, we have perch, which are incredibly aggressive feeders, and they're fun to watch. In the third tank, I have tilapia, which are just about ready for harvesting. And then in this last tank, I have small fingerling wipers that have been growing very quickly. All in all, the system seems to be working relatively well. I have had some ventilation problems in which I had to install these automatic vents in the front. So when it gets too warm in here, these vents will open up uh, to allow fresh air into the house. I also have four windows for additional ventilation as well as a peak fan that draws the air out if it gets too hot. And it's run on a solar panel that's sitting outside.
There it is. There's my greenhouse on a winter day in Colorado.